you'll see what Henson's uh, been waiting for for the last, I don't know, a few weeks. It's been a while. We've got babies loaded and we're headed to take them to their new homes. So let's go. This is the first stop. We're jump, dropping off <laughs> two blue roans here. If you guys don't know Emery Palmer, <laughs> go check out her channel. She just bought a few other babies from the Pitzer sale. Actually, her dad, I don't know. They have Pitzer babies over there. Her uh, channel is Emery Palmer. I think it's just her name, but she trains horses and has a really fun channel. Oh my gosh, my gate. <laughs> Everything needs a WD-40 on the PDR. Time to get some fuel. Check that out. Five dollars and five cents for diesel. But we have Safeway rewards and it's 405. That's freaking awesome. We got a dollar off. Safeway does not give you dollar off just for fun. That guy in there did something. <laughs> You're gone for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got five more to go. I like this guy's shirt. Work hard or go home. That should be like our motto. <laughs> okay. Next baby. Getting dropped off in Camp Birdie and walk Loki around. stop for lunch at our favorite spot and we have three four left to go say hi Brooks hi alrighty here is stop number I don't even know <laughs> it's been a long drive <laughs> so this is Debbie she's bought J Hart horses from us I'm not sure how many but looks like this is one of them Was she a real big mare? Yeah. Yeah. I really like him. Everybody falls in love with him. Okay, I missed that. I'm loading, but there they are. Okay, so for the rest of these falls, we're just going to meet the new owners here at the John Vulcan Arena in Gilbert. 
So Henson already unloaded one. We've got two more to unload and apparently we're a little early. So we're gonna unload them and put them in these little stalls right here while we're waiting. How hot you think it is? Uh, 95. Is it 95 for sure? I don't know, this one. I just know that it's supposed to be oh, about 95. Okay. 95 degrees. Is that what it is? I don't know. Oh. It says at home it's 75. Yeah. Yeah, about 20. It's always about 20 uh, degrees different. <clears throat> Feels like my mouth. Yeah, about 95 degrees. <laughs> weather feels like it's hot and sweaty, humid. Sticky? Sticky. Yeah, sometimes unloading is trickier than loading. Danielle's yep. Horzar didn't like to come out forwards for a long time. Wasn't it him? Yeah. He, you had, we had to back him out. We just backed him out every time. He does it now, though. That yep. Great. Yeah, that baby's drinking over there. That's good. One more in here. She's like, hey, friends. Where's my friends? We already pulled out our camp chairs and... Everything, we're sitting there waiting. Good thing we brought the ice chest. Yeah, oh, I knew. <laughs> While we're here in the valley, we're gonna take Connor to a, a pitching coach and let him take some pitching lessons. That'll be tomorrow night. So kind of uh, make it a purposeful trip. If I'm not barrel racing or something, the kids are working on their skills. Henson's over on the side. You can see his, his hands. Okay, so that's number seven. Back in the trailer. Ah. <laughs> Easy peasy. I'm so ready. 
so ready. He's so excited, you can just tell. We have arrived. Safely. Are you guys so excited for the surprise? Okay, so we are on our way back home after spending a couple days in the valley delivering those babies and stuff. Connor got to do some pitching lessons. How was that, Connor? So, so cool. Yeah, he learned some really good stuff. Uh, with the, These dogs are barking like crazy. Um, he learned a lot of cool stuff for this next year pitching. Um, Hayden got to do some shopping. Brooks got to do lots of swimming. He swam like probably 80% of the time that he was awake. <laughs> and then, um, what did I get? I got to eat some Thai <laughs> fried rice, pineapple fried rice. Um, but now it's Henson's turn to get spoiled. So let's go see what he's got. Jerry came to be some moral support, so let's go see what Henson's uh, been waiting for for the last, I don't know, a few weeks. It's been a while. Dun, dun, dun. There it is. Yeah. It's a pickup. I don't know why we need another one, but it's what he wanted. They let Loki out of the trailer. Come on, Loki. Fired her up. Come on, Loki. I can't believe he just bought a pickup. Jeez. Like we need a pickup right now. <laughs> he needs Loki in his back seat. <laughs> Go ahead, put him in. Yeah. <laughs> In your back seat. <laughs> Loki jumped in. He won't get out. See? Yep. There's his okay, truck. Yeah. Loki got going? a truck. <laughs> I don't know. We'll be down. Okay. We'll see him at the gas station. <laughs> Look at him all checking out his pickup. We haven't even left town yet. We just came to fuel up. What's she look like? She's a real beauty. <laughs> oh, Hi, Loki. Are you okay? Huh? Are you so happy to not be in the trailer? What? Oh, nice. <laughs> Loki looks happy. <laughs> You're getting your shirt all dirty. Well, that's what happens sometimes. So, uh, I'm gonna go to O'Reilly or one of them. Oil, a little low, had some oil. And I'm having to check the alternator because Steven was worried about the alternator. Okay. You got the gas pumping? Fuel? Oh, look at what. This, I guess this is what I got. I got a trailer load of hay. We went down to Gila River Farms in Sacatone. 
and we stuffed 40 bales in there. It's stuffed all the way to the back. So that was that was my uh, gift, my splurge this weekend. Our gold Dodge, the 04 Dodge, has 301,000 miles on it. That first gen Henson just got, I think, has way less like at least half of that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. The odometer does work. The speedometer works. 165,000. Manual. Transmission. Cummins. Power windows and power locks. One big seat. This is where I'll sit. And Danielle's going to sit right here. Uh, that's her. This is her seat belt. So I'm going to take the other seatbelt out so she has to sit right next to me. Yeah. There it is. You flip up the seat. Old school. You got a seat right here. Seat right there. Uh, probably nobody's really ever going to sit in those. Kids will be like, heck no, we're not sitting back there. Tents, uh, the tent's kind of coming off after we do that. You can hear it. Sounds good. Lights are working. Got the, the original 16 inch wheels. Cargo light works. And there's the hitch. Uh, you can tell it hasn't been used for a long time. Yeah, lights are working in the back. Here's the passenger side. Some rust. Might put a paint job on it. Uh, Steven. So the guy I got it from was worried about me driving it at night. He didn't really want me to drive it home. He wanted me to haul it on a trailer. I drove it anyway. The lights uh, are a little off. They kind of shine kind of crazy. I have to work on that. A couple lights out on top. Work on that. Watch out. Dodge coming. It's coming through. Move over. Let's pop the hood on this bad boy. One of, one of the ones I had, the one I was dating Danielle with, it wouldn't shut off when he turned the key off. I had a wire coming through the firewall or whatever it's called, and it, it killed the, the motor. Anyways. The light under the hood works. Check it out. Gotta work on some stuff, but it's running, running good. It smells like the diesel, so there's a little leak, I think, by the fuel pump down here. Work on that. There's cobwebs all in here, lighters. So I'll have to change the fluids, stuff like that. Pretty dang sweet. Okay, I just got back, fed the horses, got back here to Navajo in the first gen 93 Dodge Cummins that I just bought. I'm pretty excited. I think Danielle's gonna be real excited too. I, I drove around a 93 Dodge Cummins when I was dating her. So I think uh, just driving this around, she'll be pretty excited and uh, you know, kind of remember when we're dating. You know, what can I say? I'm a bit of a romantic, I guess. So yeah, I think she'll be super excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna take out, uh, I'm gonna take out the seat belt, like I said. So she has to sit right next to me, right here. And uh, she's gonna have to use this seat belt. Um, and then I'll be, you know, shifting gears, cause it's a manual. And I'll be, you know, able to rest my hand on her, her leg. You know, and bring back some memories for her when we're dating so for all you cowboys and cowgirls that are dating you know get a manual pickup or manual whatever with a, a bench seat take out your seat belt make your date sit right next to you and uh, yeah you have some good times some good memories there's a tip for you so cowboy on 
hey guys thanks for coming along um, I had posted some videos last year of us delivering babies if you want to check those out um, watch them again or watch them for the first time I'll post a link here and otherwise be on the lookout for new merch I have ordered some new hoodies and earrings I have those coming maybe by next week and the denim jackets are in so I'll be posting those maybe tonight Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>